Welcome to pomegranate, Punica granatum. Beautiful, beautiful plant. Many of us know that it's highly nutritious. What I want to dive into in this video is some of the extraordinary mythology uh, and unexpected medicinal properties, a few of them at least, that um, should excite you about pomegranate and be a very wonderful example of the connection between myth and actual um, factual <laughs> and scientific even uh, uh, truths of plants. This is where they bridge so much of our scientific world and our energetic world. So pomegranates are considered a superfruit, and this is because of their important nutritional value and their antioxidant properties help keep you from getting sick. Regular consumption has been studied of pomegranate juice, the unsweetened kind, can be effective against diabetes, lymphoma, even benign prosthetic hyperplasia. So there you have three different kinds of illnesses, big time illnesses that this is known to help prevent. So you can see why long tradition, culturally broad tradition, many, many cultures um, respect the pomegranate as a symbol of fertility, life, death, reincarnation, this idea of returning from, from a death place, prosperity, um, eternal life, marriage. So this is a really big deal f um, fruit and tree. And that symbology is actually related to this deeply nutritious, deeply health providing plant. Pomegranates were found in the tombs of the Queens of Egypt, archeological sites in uh, the West Bank, dating way back to the early Bronze Age. Uh, the early Egyptians regarded pomegranates as a symbol of prosperity and ambition. They were even used as a, a, a remedy for tapeworm. So look, we've got these cancers, we've got diabetes, tapeworm. These, were, these are illnesses that can kill untreated. And back in these days, these were the medicines at hand and they were respected because they were effective. Um, the myth of Persephone from Greece, the goddess of the underworld, she takes pomegranate seeds with her to quench her thirst while she's held prisoner in the underworld. Um, to this day in Greece, pomegranates are given to new homeowners where it's put at the home altar and it's a symbol of abundance, good luck, fertility. So this idea of pomegranates, again, being able to go into the place of death, and you can imagine in a time where there was no refrigeration, and many people were traveling across deserts, wide open, vast plains where there was not necessarily any water, having pomegranates, which are juicy, with you could make the difference between life and death. It could mean you could traverse a place of death and survive. That's big magic. Pomegranates appear on the ancient coin of Judea. Um, when not in use, the, tura, the um, Torah scrolls are encased in pomegranate-looking, you know, symbol uh, 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 globes. And uh, they're also a profound symbol of the mystical experience in the Jewish mystical tradition of, associated with the Kabbalah. So again, this idea of transformation of what happens when something isn't fully well and becomes revived and nourished and thrives and moves on and survives. Uh, the first really accepted um, image of Christ that is considered incontrovertible is a fourth century floor mosaic from Dorset, England. And it's the image of Christ, and it's got pomegranates on either side. Again, this is a deep, deep tradition, a cross, and it's meant to be a symbol of Jesus' suffering and resurrection. Again, this idea that coming back, coming back from deep illness, coming back from death, coming back from that place of, of um, feeling a loss of life and being rejuvenated. In China and in TCM, the pomegranates are grown in South China, Southeast Asia. They've been there. They were brought over by the silk trade. Um, so they've been used. Uh, and in Japan, the pomegranate is a popular tree for bonsai because of its beautiful flowers, but also because as the tree ages, and some pomegranates can grow to be like 200 years old, the wood gets nice, the bark 
um, becomes the trunks become nice and twisted, so it's they're exquisitely beautiful. Up an image of a, a, a ripe fruit and its seeds in China was hung in the home again with this idea of fertility, with the added notion or saying that the number of seeds represented the number of generations that would flourish uh, in the new home and with a new family. In Buddhist uh, religious ceremonies in China, uh, pomegranates were used daily as well. The branches were used to sprinkle water. Again, this idea of hydration. Life comes from water. You're a baby in a womb filled with water. <laughs> this is very profound iconography and very profound uh, expression of this plant's ability to hydrate again and thrive. So when you're thinking of pomegranate, I think you want to think more deeply about what this means, that it's so nutritious, that it's so juicy, that it has this symbolism behind it. You don't get symbols because they don't have a relationship, that they have a meaning. They're a way of conveying experience, hundreds of years, thousands of years of experience of living and using a plant. Go visit whiterabbitinstituteofhealing.com and find out more about a plant you might think you knew a lot about.